Good morning and happy Monday. Thank you for joining us on this cold morning, last full week of March. Mm -hmm. Lisa Scott Dillon, uh, we're going to talk about the cold weather and chances for snow in a minute. But first, we want to remind you we're on Facebook live every weekday morning between 8 and 9. You can watch it anytime on your feed after that. Also on our Inform YouTube channel and your favorite podcast platform. Just go to inform.com slash podcast and look for the Inform Minute. That's right. All right. It is another chilly start to another March week. And Dylan, we just can't seem to shake winter. No, we cannot. <laughs> we uh, set a record yesterday. It's the latest in Fargo and Grand Forks. We have had 20 inches of snow depth on the ground. So that's officially at the airport in Fargo at the National Weather Service in Grand Forks. But... That sets the previous record best set back in 97 for Fargo, and I believe it was a similar year in Grand Forks. I don't know it off the top of my head, but nonetheless, it's how much snow we still have on the ground. Yeah. It's getting ridiculous. 20 inches of snow that for both Fargo and Grand Forks we have on the ground as of yesterday. Wow. It's a lot of Last snow. Last night. Yeah, it is a lot of snow. And, of course, it may you know, alarm you. Oh, my gosh, flooding. Well, you have to consider we only picked up 57 inches of snow, which is below, it's, about, it's just a slightly above average for Fargo and Grand Forks picked up a little bit more. But if you look back in 97, we picked up 115 and 117 inches of snow. Wow. So big change. There's the big thing this spring is, is we can't get warm <laughs> because we also have that consecutive 40 degree streak now yeah. still going, that we're still climbing and climbing and climbing because we haven't had 40 degrees in, since November. Yeah, So been way too long. It's just been cold, and because it's been cold, the snow hasn't melted, and so we're setting records about the snow not melting, yeah. basically, is what this uh, record is. And there's more records, but you're going to have to watch First News for those all week long. <laughs> I got a whole lot list of them. Yeah, a lot of records could be Record-breaking week. Really. It, really. it really could be. I mean, huh. this whole week, if we go through, all, through Friday without doing a couple of things, we'll break some records. <laughs> if we keep on having cold mornings, we'll set some records. It's just... A lot of them. Got to keep on watching First News. I like that you're not giving it away. Not giving it away. Nope. Nope. <laughs> you each got day, good stuff each day all something week. new. You'll get, get something new each day. So. Records we don't want to be setting. Though, exactly. In my opinion. <laughs> I, I know. I don't want to be setting it either. I'm sick of going outside in snow pants, coat, mittens, hat. I was cold this morning. I mean, it's 11 degrees right now. We had a little bit of a breeze. It sucks yeah. outside. You were also sitting in a snow bank. Yeah, it was. Yeah, exactly. 20 inches of snow. Yeah. So. Wow. It's really bad right now. So Yeah, that's a lot of snow. It is. It is a lot of snow right now, and um, it's getting old for sure. So anyways, our forecast for today is we have, of course, more cold. We have clouds. Our high temperature today is about 20 degrees. Mm. That's our forecast high. Our okay. average low temperature for this time of year is in the low 20s. Mm. So we are lower. Our, our afternoon high is lower than our average low for this oh. time of year. If that makes sense. It does. You just got to think about it for a second. It means we're cold. It is very cold outside. <laughs> Our average high this time of year is 43. Uh, that'd Doesn't be that much hurt? better. Doesn't that hurt? Yeah. And there's no warm up in sight. Uh, all right. Well. Well, I'm not done yet. It might snow <laughs> I just want you to quit talking about the bad <laughs> news, Dylan. There are a few snow flurries that are around. Um, they're moving around, not expecting an accumulation. But you will see snow today. We'll do a little bit of melting like we have over the weekend. You know, the puddles will become unthawed. The lakes and some streets and ends of driveways, they'll, yeah. maybe some critters will start living in them pretty soon. But we're getting there. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're getting there in the calendar, but we're not getting there anywhere else. <laughs> the calendar keeps going forward. The calendar forward. keeps on going forward, but yeah, winter just keeps on sticking around. So okay. no good news for me. Maybe right. at the end of April I'll have good news. I hope I, I do. I hope so. We'll have to see. All right. All right, Dylan. Thank you, Dylan. Yeah. I don't thank you. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. All right. All right. You want to start with our breaking news? Sure. Let's news? Uh, dive into that. We broke a story for you this morning on uh, First News out of Richland County where crews were scrambling overnight for a train derailment. The Richland County Sheriff's Office tells WDAY that that derailment happened early this morning um, southeast of Winemere, North Dakota. It was a 70-car Canadian Pacific train that went off the tracks. Now, we are still working to find out exactly how many you know, people were affected or if there was any injuries or anything like that. But you said that there should be an update, hopefully right, coming pretty Right soon. before I came down here to do this, I had called the Richland County Emergency Management Director, and he was actually with a uh, Canadian Pacific spokesperson. Okay. They said, uh, we're working on a statement. We're going to get that to you. I asked if they could maybe send us some pictures. They said yes. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, hopefully we'll have those pictures and new information for you on the 11 o'clock newscast this morning, this afternoon as well, but sure. uh, we should have it here in just a couple of hours for you. Cool. 
Uh, also today, an Eddie County farmer is set to plead guilty in court for a hunting case that went viral after the video of the encounter was shared online. Mm -hmm. The October incident was near New Rockford. The man was yelling at a group of waterfowl hunters. Uh, his name is Jeffrey Ehrman. He says he felt the group was too close to his property line. So today, this is the story we've been tracking for you and we'll update you later today. He's set to plead guilty to disorderly conduct and interference with rights of hunters under a plea agreement. He will avoid jail time if he stays out of trouble for a year. He does need to make that $250 donation to the state's poaching program, but he will not lose any hunting or gun ownership privileges. That uh, hearing is supposed to happen today, so we'll update you. All right, this morning we are hoping to find out more information surrounding the death of a man who was found in a field next to the Grand Forks Airport. Police say that body was first discovered around noon on Saturday. Officers are calling it an unattended death. They're not revealing any details about the potential cause of death or the name until they can notify the family of, of the, what happened. Um, investigation is ongoing, and we're going to hope to get updates as soon as we can. Once we get those, we'll pass them along to you. Today, Governor Doug Burgum is set to sign a bill that would make military paychecks exempt from the state's income tax in North Dakota. This would apply to active duty guard and reserve members serving in North Dakota. Uh, he's set to sign that bill this afternoon in Bismarck. It's expected to reduce the taxes of service members by about $4 million between 2023 and 2025. All right, there is concern right now over radioactive water leaking from a nuclear power plant in Minnesota. It comes four months after that same plant reported a similar leak. It's causing an uproar in the community of Monticello where people are saying that they weren't immediately notified of that leak. So it led to some of them consuming that contaminated water. The president of Xcel Energy for Minnesota and the Dakota says the radioactive water contains uh, tritium, which is a which is created in the normal process of making nuclear energy. He says it contains a very low level of radioactivity, uh, but they wouldn't say exactly how long the plant would be offline for. They said they're going to probably be shut down until a refueling and maintenance day, which is going to be in mid-April. Um, in the meantime, Excel says on-site testing does not show signs of contaminated groundwater, so we'll continue to follow this story for you. Today, North Dakota clinics are partnering together to offer free brain injury screenings as part of Brain Injury Awareness Month. The screenings will take place yes. this afternoon between 4 and 6 at Med Park on 31st Avenue. Mm -hmm. Those screenings and consultations are on a walk-in basis, so you don't have to make an appointment. According to the North Dakota Brain Injury Network, anyone suffering with headaches, blurry vision, mood swings, maybe trouble remembering things, could be showing symptoms of a brain injury. You never know. Good to get checked on those types of things. All right. Um, national news today. We are we now know that a New York grand jury, considering those charges against former President Donald Trump, uh, they're expected to hear new witness testimony today. And a decision on an indictment could come sometime this week. But uh, over the weekend, Trump was defiant on the campaign trail. We heard reports of that, saying criminal charges will not stop his effort to return to the White House. Of course, we've been following this mm -hmm. saga, and we're going to continue to follow all the drama as it unfolds for you. Uh, right now, recovery efforts continue after violent and powerful tornadoes mm -hmm. swept through the southeast over the weekend, killing at least 26 people. At least 10 confirmed tornadoes struck Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee search and rescue operations happening right now. President Joe Biden has already approved a disaster declaration for the hardest hit parts of Mississippi. Of course, we were looking at video this morning mm -hmm. of just the absolute devastation, yeah. hard to look at. And then Lydia was kind of breaking down a little bit as to you know what happened and who's still going to see that severe weather today. So yeah. scary situation, a lot of destruction. Yes. Thoughts and prayers with all those that are impacted. All right, it was a big weekend for hockey in Fargo. The Minnesota Golden Gophers have punched their ticket to the Frozen Four. They're going to be heading to Tampa for that. The Gophers took on St. Cloud State, the Huskies, on Saturday. The Gophers won 4-1 to one to secure their spot in the Frozen Four. The Gophers will be playing next week on April 6th against Boston College. But besides the fun hockey and, I guess, for a lot of UND fans, they didn't want to see the Gophers win. Right. But it was still exciting to have the games going on in town. But the cool thing about it all was that it actually set a record for attendance at Shields Arena. Um, more than 5,300 people attended Saturday's game. So that was pretty cool, largest attendance in the arena's history. And besides the Frozen Four, we are now know a Final Four for NCAA basketball too. So uh, you can assure that Dom will be talking about that today on Hot Mike. It's on WDIY Extra as well as Inform.com from 9 to 11. So tune in for all of his 
takes and guests and things because it's going to be a lot to talk about. Lots to talk about. And remember, you can get a great deal right now on your Inform.com subscription if you don't have it. 99 cents a month for your first three months. Just go to Inform.com slash subscribe to check it out. And then as you said, Lisa, join us again at 11 o'clock. We'll hopefully have an update with some photos on that train derailment here in North Dakota. Also, we'll have updates to your weather and any other stories as well. Uh, that's at 11 and then we have you covered again at four five not six nine and ten um, and then we'll be back for first news tomorrow morning from five to seven have a great day everyone bye